Katie Price, 44, has declared she hopes the officers struggle to find employment for the rest of their lives while discussing the slurs in a passionate interview with Dan Walker, 46, for Channel 5 News. The eight Metropolitan Police officers were found to have made racist and ableist comments in relation to Harvey, 20, as well as transphobic, sexist and homophobic comments about others. I hope. All their names and their mugshots come out because I would like to see their faces and they should be named and shamed, she exclaimed as Harvey, who said he felt angry and sad, sat alongside her. The glamour model and entrepreneur admitted she had been over the moon when the eight were found guilty of gross misconduct, adding that they should feel embarrassed and ashamed. Their messages, which were today ruled discriminatory and offensive, had been posted in a WhatsApp group called Secret Squirrel Less. All eight officers were found guilty of gross misconduct and were challenged over their failure to report or attempt to put a stop to the messages as they spiraled out of control. Hopefully they will never serve in the police force again, and if they ever get any other job that it goes on their CV, Katie continued in her conversation with Dan. It'll tell you what, there won't be a lot of people who want to employ them after this. Would you want to employ someone when you know they do stuff like this? She quizzed. I know I wouldn't, so it will affect them for the rest of their lives, and I hope it does because they deserve that. They're disgusting. Katie added that she felt it was especially important for justice to have been served in this context as police officers are placed in a position of trust. The TV star who has admitted she's been suffering mental health problems lately and whose mum has an incurable lung disease, also pondered whether to take Harvey to the sentencing. I don't know whether to turn up to the court with Harvey. I'd like, the police officers, to, face Harvey and see how innocent he is, but obviously I don't want to use Harvey as a bit of bait, she explained. She added that although it wouldn't be fair to her teenage son to expose him to the court setting, she would like the officers to see for themselves how innocent he is. Why did he deserve that? You know? I'm in two minds what to do, she concluded. Katie had fought from the beginning to see those who mocked Harvey be punished for their actions, 